you have also de- developed a line of skincare. When I first saw this, I was like, what the heck? You know, skincare? That, that, that's uh, um, great. I'm always looking for something to make my skin look nice, but uh, right. I, I, d- I never sort of, you know, um, c- connected the dots. Uh, can you tell us a little bit of your background about why, you know, your story about your dad, um, yeah. why you got into the skin side of things and the cosmetics? Yes, yeah, skin, you know. I never intended or never thought I would be in skincare and beauty, but you know, this, this goes back probably, uh, well, eight or nine years ago, my dad, who's a paraplegic from a car accident in 1984, you know, he's 70, he just turned 75. So he's been in a wheelchair for more than half his life. And so we, yeah. we've dealt with the cubitus pressure ulcers most of my childhood and, and adult life. So he developed a non-healing ulcer maybe in 2013, 2014. And every wound care doc I took him to said we couldn't heal this wound because he's he's older he's diabetic uh he's paraplegic and so i started and he got a massive infection in the wound and so he was probably going to die from sepsis and i just mm. treated the wound with nitric oxide i developed a nitric oxide releasing gauze i put it into the wound and i covered it up and the next day he was completely fine he was fever was normal the wow. wound looked good it was completely granulated and make a long story short we did this for a period of year and completely healed this wound we killed the infection and I could see blood flow getting to the, into the wound. We got tissue granulation and eventually we did stem cells. We did a surgical flap and completely healed the wound. And now we're six years later and he hasn't developed any other wounds. And it's never gone through that period of time without developing some skin breakdown. Yeah. So then when the wound care docs, when I told them what I was doing, they go, how do I have access to this? How do we have, yeah. have, can we have access to this in clinical care? So obviously to go through FDA clinical trials and get a topical drug on the market for wound care takes many years and hundreds of millions of dollars. So I developed a skin a line of skincare products that's a dual chamber that you mix these two together and you rub it on your face or rub it on different body parts and it generates nitric oxide gas and it improves blood flow. And when you think about this, the skin is an organ, just like the heart, just mm-hmm. like the brain, just like the sex organ. And if that organ isn't getting enough blood supply, then it fails. So what does a failing skin look like? Well, you lose collagen, you lose hydration, fine lines and wrinkles show up. You get acne, rosacea, uh, psoriasis, autoimmune problems, during function of the blood vessels in the skin. So you can actually see this product working before your eyes. When you apply it, you can see your skin will turn pink. So we're recruiting capillaries. I do demos on the back of my hand and you can see the veins pop. Wow. So as soon as you add it on there, it diffuses into the skin. We improve blood flow. I think we've got five published clinical trials on that. We improve collagen deposition, you improve hydration, fine lines and wrinkles go away, polycystic acne, scar remediation, rosacea. I mean, there's really no dermatological condition where the nitric oxide that we're providing in that topical doesn't provide benefit. It's, it's remarkable. Get this. I haven't got yeah, that one new, yet. <laughs> it's well, like, it's, a, it's a new category in skincare yeah. because as you know, most skincare products are designed to hide or mask yeah. the fine lines and wrinkles of the blemishes. We, we get to the root of the problem. Why does your body have fine lines and wrinkles? Why does the skin sag and develop age spots? It's because there's not enough blood supply to there. So if you can't get the good stuff in and take out the trash, you can't mobilize stem cells, to regenerate and repair and replace those dermal cells, then you look old. So we provide yeah. nitric oxide, nitric oxide does all that. Oh, get me some of that stuff because I'm 55 you tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to stop. I've got to slow it down. Getting that turkey neck thing going on, you know? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we, um, can, we, we can help. <laughs> yeah, so it's really exciting, you know. Like I've been in the world of peptides and love, you know, yep. GHK, uh, KCU and, and and all of that sort of stuff. But this is a complete different, again, a bit of a different well, shift in that. Yeah, and now we're actually we we got a an, what's called here in the U.S. an investigational drug application in front of the Food and Drug Administration in the U.S. So we're developing this now into topical drugs for wound care. Wow. Because we've seen, we haven't, we haven't seen a, there's not a single wound that we haven't treated with our topical nitric oxide that we didn't heal. We've got four or five year old non healing wounds that we he- were healing in a period of weeks or months. Wow. Burns, diabetic ulcers, diabetic foot ulcers. I mean, this it's, is, it's, it's a it, game it, changer in terms of wound care. 
and just every older person is dealing with skin breakdown becoming thinner and you know all of those sorts of issues and diabetic ulcers are, uh, no, that's right. are, are and it's just a problem. blood flow problem yeah i mean it's a blood flow problem it's caused by poor blood flow and then we apply pressure on certain pressure points you further compress the tissue further restrict blood flow and it leads to skin breakdown so when you yeah. when you apply nitric oxide we overcome all that and if you can just move the pressure move the patients around i mean think about i think about this in nursing homes and long-term yeah. facilities. i mean this is yep. a major problem it is huge i mean this last week you know we had to keep shifting mum every couple of hours yeah. so that she didn't develop and she still developed some stuff um and you know like this with the hyperbaric oxygen would be a beautiful combo is, is, is what, yeah. what i'm thinking you know add some intravenous vitamin c in there and you you're going to be like really looking look, super yeah. young <laughs> And super now, now, look, the the answers are out there, right? You can't, yeah. I mean, you have to, especially in these complex patients, you, nitric oxide is foundational, but it's not a silver bullet. It's not the end all be all cure all. You still have to, you know, address these other concerns. But, you know, for us, it's, we found it to be absolutely foundational. The body cannot and will not heal without nitric oxide. And so now we have to, you know, get this into the hands of as many people as we can to not only provide a source of nitric oxide that their body is not making, but really improve their body's ability to make it. And, and when you, you do that, the patient gets better. You have a second product. So you've got the nitric oxide lozenges that you sit, that right. sit on the tongue, and then you've got another product that, that just ups the nitrate levels in the body. Is that right? Well, that's the beet powder. So we, um, you know, beets, people understand beets. The media mm -hmm. and these companies have done a good job about educating consumers on, on the health benefits of beets. And so we did the same thing. So we, we created a, a beat. Number one, not all beets are created equal. As I told you, 99% mm. of the beet products out there don't do anything. Number two, beets are the third least liked vegetable in the world, yeah. <laughs> including me. I don't like the taste of beets. So what we did was did something different. It's never been done before. So number one, we control the, the growing process from the beets, from the seed to the time of harvest, the soil conditions. And then we take the beet powder and we ferment it. So we basically pre-convert our beets. Ah. So we're not dependent upon the individual's oral microbiome. Ah. Ah. So we're not dependent upon, so in most beet products, maybe one out of three people will be, get a benefit from it because one out of three people have the right oral bacteria. Mm -hmm. What we do is we pre-convert it for you. And then we take out the beet pulp, we take out the oxalates, we take out the beet color and the beet taste. So now we have a white, super concentrated nitric oxide beet powder and we add electrolytes to it. We add mitochondrial ATP and we give it a, a mixed berry flavor. So you've got a really beautiful white powder that doesn't taste or look like beets, but provides nitric oxide. In fact, you have to take it as a shot. So as soon as you put it in water, you mix it up and, and take it as a shot. Just put it in two to three ounces of water and then throw it back. You can't sip on it because as soon as it hits solution, it's generating nitric oxide gas. Right. So you just got to get it in really, really quick. Got to get it in. Yeah. Mix it and take it back which is best for the the athlete you know a combination of these products these two or just one or the other for athletes the lozenge is meant to be your daily nitric oxide so mm -hmm. as a daily vitamin c or a daily, daily vitamin d the lozenge really gives you that sustained no over a certain period of time and recouples the nos enzyme now for, we, we really position the bead powder as a pre-workout for athletes mm -hmm. or as an energy drink you know we have to get young kids off things like Red Bull and five hour energy and monster Absolutely. drinks because these are very dangerous stimulant ridden uh, drinks that Terrific. kids shouldn't be. So we provide an energy, a natural energy source. What is energy, right? It's an improvement in circulation. It's improvement in mitochondrial function and actually ATP production. That's the energy currency of the cell. So we provide nitric oxide, we provide electrolytes for hydration and we provide mitochondrial ATP. So it's the best energy drink on the market. And it's never been done before. And that's a very powerful product that we hope will, you know, take off and really give people a safe source of energy. Absolutely. And, and, and when you, if you are going to put both of these together, is that safe or can you overdo it? You know, like you're going to have two lozenges a day, like 12 hours apart is what I'm doing for mom. If I was to get the beet stuff going as well, am I overdoing, overcooking the, the goose, so to speak? No, I mean, as, as long as you allow, say, four to six hours in between them. Mm -hmm. So personally, this is what I do. I take a lozenge in the morning. I typically go to the gym and work out in the afternoon of the evenings. So I'll take the beet powder, you know, as I'm walking into the gym. Again, it's, yeah. it's quick acting. You don't need to take it 90 minutes before or 15 minutes before. You can take it as you're walking into the gym. You're going to get a great workout. 
And then, you know, when I travel a lot, I'll take a lozenge typically before bed. So I take usually two lozenges a day, the bee powder before I work out. Gotcha. That's a perfect combination. And obviously you're using the skin creams because your skin looks pretty damn good. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Use that every day. Yeah, yeah. And and, uh, Dr. Bryant, you've just been absolutely amazing. Um, I I will let you go because I know you've got about five minutes before you can deliver a lecture. (laughs) I'm going to get your products. We're going to try and work a way to do that. So people check in in, in my shop and stuff and uh, reach out to me if you want to get it. But where do they contact you? What books do they read? You know, where can they read some of the science? Well, the first place I send people is to my educational website. I've got a website called drnathansbryan.com. I'm trying to provide the up-to-date knowledge and information and science behind nitrotoxin so that people can make informed decisions on what to do, how to modify their lifestyle, take, change some things up, stop taking mouthwash, get rid of fluoride, get off antacids, then that's sometimes that's simple enough. Uh, you're an absolute amazing person. I thank you so much for the passion that you bring to this um, space. You're really helping millions of people around the world with what you're doing and bringing the science to light. Um, I know that it's not easy bringing these things to market as a supplement producer myself. I know that, you know, it's not an easy road and doing drug discovery and all of that sort of stuff. Oh my God, you know, and trials and everything. So thank you so much for for all the work you do. You're just absolutely amazing. Well, thank you, Lisa. Keep up the good work in the been great spending an hour with you and we'll for sure.